Here you go guys, this is like out of a Jurassic Park movie. What is up guys? Bam! Got loaded up here. Arctic pack full. All the goodies. Gonna be good. Lots of good food. We got some friends gonna meet us on Saturday, so I may not film a whole lot then. Uh, they're gonna bring another kayak, so we'll have two there. So, kayaking, maybe riding some bikes. Headed to Mosquito Lake. I was there, not last weekend, but the weekend before. Heading back, got the same site I had, so it should be a good time. Beautiful day out, it's gonna be hot. Damn near 90s, couple chances of thunderstorms, but when it's that hot here in Ohio, there's just chances of thunderstorms. Deal with it. Last weekend, two weekends ago when I was there, it got really nasty and I had to leave. So, like flooding, like inches of rain, horrible storms. So, I lucked out and decided to leave before any of that got to us. So, good weekend this weekend. Friday night, Saturday night, it's Friday morning right now. We're about to head out. What's up guys, we're here at camp now. All set up, just had some lunch. Uh, the whole campground is Amish people for some reason, so that's a little weird. But, is what it is. We're gonna go take the dog swimming. Do a little bit of walking, come back. Hear the AC running, it's pretty hot today. Might hit 90. So the AC is a must. All right, let's go swim the dog. Not a bad view, guys. Freaking nice out. It's hot. But... Huh? What is it? No. There's a hiking trail there. I think that's, there's really no hiking here. But <clears throat> Nelson's Ledges is not far. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. See how we feel. Like I said, we got company coming tomorrow. So I definitely won't be filming when they're around. Little yeah, little. Alright guys, I want to walk around the campground, but the asphalt's raging hot and I don't want my dog's feet getting all burnt up. She's in the grass, mostly, but we'll see. I think we're going to make one little loop and then probably back to camp. So I'll show you all the lakefront sites that are pretty decent. Alright guys, this is site 73, so obviously you park here, so you have all that. I'll show you when I walk up there, but then you get all this, man. Whoa, shit. Right on the water. You could drag your kayak through, probably be a little muddy, but... <clears throat> Pretty sweet sight. I think it's the best one I've seen here so far, for sure. Site 73, it was booked already, so we couldn't get it. All right guys, there was site 73 I showed you. 72, not good in my opinion at all. You'd be right on those people. Um, this other side here is not great, not horrible, these are all pretty bad. I was here two weekends ago, so I may throw some clips in of other sites, so if I look like I'm dressed differently, it's because it was last weekend, or two weekends ago. <clears throat> Site 70 is really nice, 69 is really nice. 76 over here is decent. These are harder to get though, of course. But there are a couple down here that are walk-ups. Or walk-ins, whatever. 66 looks nice. You can get back onto the lake. The one next to it, 67, it should have been. Looked really good too. Damn, that was bothering me. Look at these guys here. 65 would be pretty awesome. 
Look at that view. It's early Friday, that's why, you know, all these are booked and will be filled tonight, but that's pretty damn nice. Hard to beat that for camping. You know, this one ain't bad. You can just kind of put stuff to block views. Site 81 is pretty damn good. Site 63. See, this is a walk in, so we could have camped here if we wanted to. First come, first serve. It's nice when they do that because. I can run up here Friday while I'm at work and book it and then I'd have it. Like West Branch doesn't do that. They used to but now all sites are reservable so they're always booked. I could real easily go grab one Friday and get it. 62 sweet. You ain't got a ton of room but you don't really need a ton of room and this is a walk in too. We could have had this one. That's a nice view. Buggy. Yeah, it probably would be very buggy. Minnesota 83 is pretty shitty. Right next to the these are pit toilets. They have nicer toilets. They're kinda they're debatable. They put the showers in with the toilets. It's all one big room, which is nice, but the floor gets wet. So if you gotta take a shit. And your shorts get wet when you pull them down, so you got to be real careful about that. You know, 60, that's plenty nice. 84 isn't bad. Site 59 is really nice. Fifty-eight, not too shabby. Site 86 sucks, Site 85 sucks. 56. Eh. Alright. 87's not bad, you get a little bit of room. Those people would probably just be staring at you. No. You have the worst sense of direction. We've literally walked in a straight line and she thought we just came from there. 55 is pretty good. That's definitely a nice sight. These aren't very good in 89, 90. No room there. We'll show you the nice bathrooms, I guess. She's got to wash her hands. 91 is not bad there. Not great. Some of these down on our road, we're down this way, are not bad at all. And out there is where you come into this loop. Or it's a big loop. But you're out in a field, kind of. There's no shade. Site 7 is nice. Site 8 is good. I don't know what this is. Probably not the best there. These are the nice bathrooms. Alright guys, see what I mean? I'm not going to walk in here because I don't want to trash it. But the shower is behind that wall. So, you got poop, at least you get privacy. And I'd rather take a shower in here than like the bathroom stall-y ones. Uh, this is a handicap one. I think there's more places to sit for the shower. I think there's a total of six. Site 12. Mm, looks pretty freaking muddy. There's site 28. These are nothing special. 13, not a lot of room. Are they all electric? Uh, in this group, I think they are all electric. Or no, down on that other road, they're not. Some of them aren't. But across the street, is. I don't know why they didn't make them electric. 27 ain't bad at all. You get plenty of room. This is all just new. Like I said, we've had so much rain that they've been moving in dirt and crap trying to solve the problem. Site 15, not very good. 
you could hang out behind your camper, but you're not supposed to move the fire rings. Site 16 is not very good. You can see our camper there, we're 19. All right guys, this site's pretty good. Lots of room there. 25. All right, we're back. Whew. Get some water, bae. All right. Whew. It is freaking hot. AC's loud. Our fridge will not get below 55. That's not good. It's all beer in there. Uh, where's that other temperature thing? Oh. Uh, it says 78. There's no way that's right. We'll see what it gets to here in a minute. Hey guys, we had to run to Walmart. So there is a Walmart probably five minutes away from the campground. We our refrigerator in the camper is not cooling down quite quick enough and I don't want 55 degree beer so about a little cooler because I had the other one pretty much full about a little cooler get a little bit of ice and a couple other things throw away plates so we don't have to do dishes uh, I'm really surprised there's not more cars driving by people showing up you know We've seen some really weird shit with these Amish people. They'll be like 10 year olds. They ride bikes with no pedals. You know, like it's like a scooter, but a bike. One will probably cruise by as I'm talking. But it'll be like a 10 year old girl operating it with like a baby in the basket. And then she'll, the 10 year old's like smoking cigarettes and shit. Pretty weird. And then we've seen them, I don't know, walk by. One had like a prosthetic leg just carrying it. Just odd things going on. We're debating on when we're going to take showers. It's freaking hot. That would be a nice refreshing thing to do. So I already showed you the shower houses. Also, guys, I've bought two different antennas for the TV to try to get some channels. The Indians game's on tonight. I wouldn't have mind watching that. I don't know that I'd have got that channel anyway. It plays on Fox or something, Fox Ohio. Who knows if I'd have got it, but I just figured I would try and I got zero channels with both of them. So I don't know if that's because I'm here, like the location we're at, or the antennas just suck. You hot bay, you wanna go in? I see. Go ahead and lay down. It's hot. It's nice to have the AC. We ain't even chilling in there, but it's nice to go in and just cool down. But anyway, I got one was 50 mile, one was 25 mile. Both got zero channels. I think the max you can buy is like 70 mile. I don't know to keep this 25 and try it somewhere else. If anybody has any word on that, leave it in the comments if you know a good one. I'll buy it. That way you can get live TV. Like there's some storms that may roll through here somewhat soon. And you know, it'd be cool to be able to watch that on TV. I can look it up on my phone, but we have 4G here. You know, no problem getting the internet. But it'd still just be nice to watch the news. So, I need a good antenna that's not huge. Alright, I don't know if you can even hear me, but 70 degrees in here right now. So, it significantly dropped because the sun's not beating down on all this canvas. So, that helped, but it really doesn't feel any better in here. It kept saying 77, which... It may be because it's like 90 outside, so it feels really good in here. Now it says 70, it feels pretty cold, but not really. I don't think it was a seven degree difference. 
All right, guys, I'm showered up. What the fuck is that? We're getting some sprinkles here, so I'm gonna move some stuff around, but I'm showered up. Brittany's gonna go now. Totally worth it. Oh my God, I feel so much better. It's hot as hell in there in the showers, but just take a cold shower and then get the hell out of there as quick as you can. But super nice shower houses, man. I mean, you don't have to turn the water on, like keep a lot of these, you gotta keep pressing the button. You know, you got one minute, hit the button. One minute, hit the button. Pain in the butt. These you just set to the temperature you want and you're golden. So you can take a cold shower, you can take a hot shower when it's colder out, it's nice. Um, she's gonna get one. Like I said, I think it's starting to maybe sprinkle a little. So we'll keep everything dry here and we'll cook dinner. Just a quick storm. Time to grill. Gonna do some burgers. Cooking burgers. Getting her done. Probably eat that and toss the salad. Start a fire. Obviously the rain quit. Mm, not a whole lot of new neighbors yet. Still two sites. Somebody's at this 18, I think, tonight. We'll see what's going down. Maybe hit up a walk after we eat. See what people are doing. Dog is just chilling. AC rolling in there. We opened the screen because it was cold in there. So the damn fridge, the more beer we take out of there, I think we bought warm beer. Because it would not cool that fridge down. The more beer we take out, I mean it's just climbing rapidly. A degree of beer. Fire! There it is. Burgers, pasta, salad. Hopefully hot. Pickled green beans. Homemade Doritos, all the good stuff. This is the other, like, this is a whole different entrance campground. Probably no Amish down here. God damn, that's a big ass boat. Nice airstream. Bust a right, see what we got. Where are we at? Where are we at? 169, 184 on the left. So I'm gonna kind of creep slow and you get what you get. This ain't bad. This is pretty wooded. This is pretty nice. I've never been back in here. Um, what are those, Britt, on the right? 172. Yeah, those aren't good. Those look muddy as fuck. They're not bad. This ain't bad in here. They're a little more... They look bigger, but they're kind of more open. Like you can just see through the woods. It's almost a uh, fucking right, I guess. I probably shouldn't have came this way. Is this the main road? Yeah. Get lost here. Son of a bitch. She says we got lost here before. Yeah, we're on the main road. I messed up. We're just gonna loop it. Wee! Keep calm. Got this. Pokemon shirts and stuff. Yeah, these are not. These ain't bad. These ain't bad at all. Said you can see through the woods a little more, like where we're at, it's super brushy. It's very swampy over here. Yeah, it looks swamp. That's that's major swamped out there. One two oh seven, you're you bring your waders, you're gonna be swimming. And on. Two oh eight. I mean you ain't swimming, but god damn, you'd be just tore up by bugs. I don't know if you can even see that shit. Road D. Nice little palm tree. We need one of those. But these are on the lake too, guys. Here, now we're on like better lake. I 
I've never, that I remember driven through this loop. Damn, these are right on the lake. Look at this, guys. Well, I think it's right on the lake because the lake is way high. The lake is up. We've had like five inches of, plus five inches of rain. Oh, shit. It's a circle. Look at this, though. Holy, oh, the yurts. These are the yurts. Look at this. Bam, son. Bam. You ain't gonna have no problem with bugs there. The wind will be too much for mosquitoes. You ain't got no room for this super old. judge me. I don't judge people, as you can tell. Very swampy. Yeah, super wet. But man, that's a that's a nice... Oh yeah. What is that? Well, right next to the yurts, man, there's like a tent site. 216 is a yurt. 215, so you're going to be like 217, 218. Maybe look into that. This is a yurt. Oh, look at that. What's that? 213. Definitely good one. The water is, uh, I gotta not kill people. We must, we have the Amish loop. So they kind of cleaned all their trashy shit up, which is nice. But yeah, it's a little bit bigger trees here, less brush, more swampy. I, all of them look like water sat through here a lot. It's it's pretty swampy. These guys are cornholing in the road. The camp post, so. Zero fucks given over here, I guess. There's my nice sights. 137 ain't bad. I wouldn't hesitate. What's that, Britt? Uh, I don't know. 156. Oh, those are Amish bikes. Alright, there's Amish over here. They got tons of gas cans and bikes. Nice little chunk over here. wet it looks wet but again this is record rainfall i would assume or damn near so i mean there's flood there's been flood warnings everywhere so it's probably a little drier usually see these out in the sun man why would you ever get that no shade you have to have shade all right, that was it, guys, with that loop. And then we have our loop. And then you can go further down, hit the beach, hit, there's like a dog park down there. Dude, this road is shit. Uh, the group camps are right where that is turning. Those are the group camps. They're, they're huge, but they're all sun, all out in the open. We camped here in August with my family, and they were just out in the sun all day long. And we camped over here, we were in the shade, it was just... So we went to the camp store or whatever, where you check in, and they had, uh-oh, this dude's blaring music, so I'm going to get edited here. Anyhow, they have uh, slushies and shit up there. That'd be good with vodka. Bring a bottle of vodka, go up there, get a slushie, pour that shit in, and walk the campground, man. 
That'd be perfect. Uh, they do not sell coolers. That's why I went to Walmart. I thought they might have styrofoam throwaway coolers. They do not. Just trying to inform you as much as I can here. We're going to go out, walk the dog one more time here. Is it? It's really never got that busy. We'll see how many people showed up. But I like to see everybody's rigs with all the lights up. People are still... No, that's a camp host. Or worker. We're going to roll around and see people's rigs. Then we'll come back, get a fire going, and just chill more. That's what you do when you're camping. Chill. You want to go for a walk, Ben? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Alright guys, our evening walk. I can't fucking believe how empty this campground is still. Aqualilypad.com is that big ass rolly thing there. And we're going to look into that. It's 8.30. So I mean, yeah, it's 8.30. This shit should be filled up. But it's not. It's very odd. I'm telling you West Branch, come... Four is slammed. We'll walk down this dead end road here to the left. That way. There's the people that got 673. They got the hook up. We'll shoot down this way. Some of these are non electric. I may show you this video or I may show you a video I did two weeks ago. Okay guys, this whole strip over here is not electric, which is super weird because right there is electric. And those sites suck ass, and these are all really good. These are all really nice. This is 113 buggy back here though. Dude's got a little smoker, got the setup going. These are electric propane, homie. He's got a hell of a good thing going here. That's what we need. That fucking rig right there. These are all electric. After site 114, that's not electric. And then these all are. But a lot of these suck. But it's a very unfilled campground. So many people are not here. It's, it's just unreal to me. Something was open over here that we could have got, but it wasn't worth it. They're all decent here, though. That's 116, so that's probably 115, so that's nice. 116, no problem with that. All these in the circle are decent. You get to 120, which is the very end of the circle, and then it just gets sketchy from there. One eighteen, it's not that good either. Alright guys, walks over, dog was done with it. Which is okay. That F-150 over there is the Yoder Toter. Running all the Amish around. Let's get this fire going. I could do this campground is not filled up at all. There's so much booked. I have no idea what the hell. When these people plan on showing up. What a waste. I would have loved to. I mean, our site's not bad. No problem with this whatsoever, but I don't know who the hell has money to just book shit and never come. Weird. Let's get the fire going. That's plenty to start. Let's get it going. Alright guys, if you're into bushcraft, you're going to love this. Psych. Easy.
Tractor Saw Camp 10. Gets her done. All right, guys, there are mosquitoes out. Maybe we'll pull out the thermosel. Never. I haven't used it. I had one way back, gave it away. Never used it. We might turn it on out here, see how she does. See how they get. What we have here is the thermosel backpacker. I like this because it just hooks up to a huge canister. So you're not packing in those little tiny shit canisters. I haven't used it at all yet. I think this is a second gen. I think the first one like had problems with the tanks or something. So let's test this. The bugs ain't horrible, but yeah, we're getting bit up a little. So if we can eliminate them, or maybe I'll wait till they get a little worse so I can really put a this is worth it type saying on this, you know. I don't want to tell you to buy it for no reason. So see if the bugs get a little worse and then we'll kick it on. Alright guys, we're gonna fire it up I guess. It's really not bad out, but not sure how to do it on light. And there's some little hole you see through, I think. Do you see through that? There it went. See that little flame in there? Yeah, you do. I see it. I mean, it's working. So we're just going to set this down here. That way it comes up to us. It says 15 foot radius or so. Let's just see if it does anything. They're not horrible. But if we can keep them off the dog, it'd be awesome. I assume you can hear the rain. It's picking up, so. Let's go inside, I guess. Alright, guys, we survived the night. Cooking up some breakfast, just having the hamburger, and then we'll add eggs to it just to get rid of those hamburger. Um. I don't know what we'll get into today. There may be some rain coming. Not much, hopefully. <clears throat> might come soon. We might go to uh, Nelson's Ledges and hike for a little bit. We'll see. See what the weather's doing. I don't know. I'm not the hugest fan of leaving this camper and all this stuff for too long. We'll see what we get into. We do have company coming later, so... I don't know. Again, I won't be filming when they're there. Bam, son. Should be good. Should be good. We made way too much, but we just had to use it up, so. She, for some reason, thinks she needs it on bread. Because that's not enough food. Alright, I got some hot sauce somewhere that's going on it. Here's some sites I haven't shown you. There's 94. Guys, it's might get rained on here this is that outer loop I said you know I wouldn't really care to camp in because of you wouldn't have any shade but 95 big there's still a ton of open sites here right now it's kind of weird I guess people will probably move in today or nobody's moving in at all I don't know but see, this is all just a big open field. I guess it's good if you have kids that can all run and play together. So, if you don't have kids, it's another reason you may not want to be out here. But this is full hookup. You get a nice concrete pad. I guess if you had a big rig, you know, you'd want to be out here too. site 46 if you're on the outskirts it's not bad right out there is the front entrance and that's the only trash can or dumpsters that they have kind of a pain in the ass last week when I was here I went into the bathrooms and people just put their trash bags in those bathrooms kind of shitty but yeah it's, they have an archery range right there And then the group camps are right over there, not far at all. I don't know if you can see the movie screen over there. Group camps and then the other campgrounds down that way. 
There's site 38, and we're you know making this whole loop now. We're on the road that we're camped on, straight ahead. Still a little bit of a distance, but yeah, a lot of these you know are the handicap ones, full hook up, and over in that circle they got a lot of concrete. Damn dog. Where's that go? I don't know. Trail. Huh? Okay, we're gonna get rained on now. Starting to rain. We're headed to Nelson's Ledges. Do a little bit of hiking there. It's a lot of rock formation shit, pretty cool. So, five more minutes and we'll be there. We are here. Um, I think I better clear my memory card. Uh, there's a lot of cool shit here. It's been a little while since I've been here, so. Let's get it going. Lots of motorcycles. Uh, lots of rock formation stuff here for sure. Let's just hike around. Cool park. Brittany doesn't remember it at all. I've hiked here with her, so I know. Some of it's sketchy. This is the kind of place I'd rather have my dog on a harness. Look at that, look how cool that is. The roots, that's awesome. I wish I had my good camera. amazing how that grew like that I guess that's what I was just peeking up through mm, definitely wouldn't mind my hiking boots right now. Pretty sweet. Just trails everywhere. <laughs> Should have stayed down and we'd be all in that. I don't know, we'll have to head down somewhere here. Pretty cool through here. The bugs today. I think they like the cooler temps. Bailey, slow down. Slow down, puppy. Chill, bae. Hey. Guys, look at these tree roots. It's just awesome. Ah, you can't stop. You just get 
tore up my bugs. Alright, I want to get some pictures taken. Pretty cool. Hang on, bae. Yeah, look at this guy. He's just like... Very moist in here. Little mushroom farm. Lots of mushrooms in here. See what I mean? People just got. It's, there's so many beer cans and bottles and stuff. I have a little respect. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I don't know what this looks like, but the lights hit in some of this really cool. There was a, we drove past a raceway too, where dudes were racing Mustangs and stuff. So that was pretty cool. That had been fun to watch. For a little while, anyhow, if you could go watch it for free. Not gonna lie, there's a lot of road noise. Kind of annoying, but... Alright, that's where we were up top when we climbed down there and then went that way, but we're going to try to just stick more in the middle of all this stuff. It's been so long I can't recall what, what stuff's like here. I just got her off the leash. It's safer that way, nobody's tripping over a leash. I know, I went from a harness to absolutely nothing, but stay up here, babe. Come up here. I'm just going her own freaking way. Where are you going, bae? Ah, mosquitoes. Oh, guys, when you get, it feels so good in these. It's just way cooler. I mean, it's like 20 degree difference from right there to right here. Ooh, this one's kind of foggy down in there. Look at that tree root. That like peeled off. Looks like a little walkway. I'll peek up here. Gotta be careful here guys, it is soaking wet and slick. Right. In case you wanna do some tagging. You know, it used to be stuck on there, and then the tree fell, hit here. Pretty cool. You gonna get that, bae? You want me to throw you up there? I think I'm gonna have to lift her up here. She could get up there. You can get up there, can't you? No? Alright, let me lift you up. No, oh, she'll get it. She'll get it. She's old, but she'll still do her. <laughs> Looks like people have been walking up there. Too old for that shit. 
fall and break my leg. Pretty cool. Oh, we might be done in here. It'll be pretty rough for the dog. We were just in there. She's having fun. Bay, you having fun? That's how she says yes. Yeah. This gets pretty large down here, it looks like. Come here, Bay. You just be careful. Pretty cool little area. Get the dog a drink down here. Where he's getting some pictures. Here, by down here, and you can get in this water maybe. Not deep enough, but let's get down in here. Here you go guys, this is like out of a Jurassic Park movie. Some carvings. Damn. Wish I was in hiking boots or sandals. You can just, you got to come back here and feel this. It's giving me chills. It's cold, so cold. This is what life is about, man. Getting out, enjoying it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'm going to try to keep my feet dry. Shit. I wish I had a flashlight. I don't know what you guys can see or not in here. Uh, how the hell do I use my flashlight on my phone? Wow, it's pretty pathetic. The air is so sick. Pretty cool. I wish I could see you better here. Ooh, dripping wet. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Hard to see. I don't know if you're fogged up or it's just all the steam. How awesome. What do you think, Bay? Pretty cool, huh? Where the hell is your mom at? Hang on, let me get a picture of you right there. Yeah, big time. It's like freezing cold right here. I, I wish I had a way to tell the temperature. 
Uh, there's rocks the whole way, but either way, who cares? We'll be in sandals the rest of the weekend. Yeah, my phone light isn't doing nothing, or it turned off. Glad we came. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how far I want to go. Why? Because I'm envisioning all the things that are in the crack. There's a spider web. Oh my god, it just feels so good in here. It's unreal. It's like, I don't know, what do you think? 65 degrees or something right here? I really don't know, but pretty cool. Hmm? Do you see all the carvings be right behind you? What's, is there a date? That's the worst part of it, is it's just on that road. It's just so loud all the time. If this was out in the middle of nowhere, it'd be way cool. But it's convenient. See you guys, we could be peeking in all this crap. Kind of just waiting to fall out of there. Phew, bugs. Nah, I'm not in the mood to crawl. Eh, it just ends basically, or you might squeeze through if you really want to. Freaking giant tree. I didn't bring an extra battery, but we're about to the end here because it turns into a big uh, park where they have festivals. Uh, we can't do this. The dog, I'm not going to have her do that. Is that the right way, Bae? <laughs> I think so. She's having fun. She is having fun. Oh. Yeah, see, we're here now, Brett. Come here, Bay. I think we can peek up at this fence and see this quarry. Bailey, come here. This is what I don't like. You can just fall right down through. Bay, no. No, no. I think you could see the quarry if we went that way. There's tons of campers right here. But this is technically the end of the trail. Because that place owns that. Alright guys, when you're walking back up top, there's nothing exciting up here. You know, this is just a way back, really. You may even just turn around and just walk the bottom. Just working our way back out. We saw this a minute ago. Nice park, little trashy, loud from the road, but definitely worth seeing, you know. Definitely beautiful.
get the dog another drink down here and uh, maybe get cleaned up a little. She's all muddy. Hmm. Cool off down here too. Oh my god, it just hits you like a wall. Come here, babe. Alright guys, just got back out of that little hole there, the dog was swimming, cooling down, we talked to some people there, nice family, headed back towards the car, again, not a huge area, but definitely worth coming, and maybe next time I'll bring a trash bag, but a lot of that trash they threw into holes you can't get in, oh, this is kind of weird, trees just sideways so is this one I don't know if people are doing that beautiful place head back to camp here and what's up guys out in the kayak for a little bit here it's freaking hot and sunny so I won't be out here long at all I'm just gonna kind of skirt up against the campground here to see what's up just heard a bunch of fireworks go off too, so I know my dog's loving that. I'll go say something to the person. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and... You ain't allowed to do that shit. Just don't do things that are going to bother other people. It's that simple. So we'll see if we hear any more. These Amish guys have been tearing the bass up, man. They've been catching a nice size bass. Fishing must be good here. It's a big lake. I don't know how deep this lake is. All right, I'm gonna see what I see here along the campground. You can just barely make out campers over there. Hardly at all, really. I'm just gonna work my way down here and then back. It's a big lake, I don't wanna get out in the middle of it, fight the wind, pain in the ass. I'm gonna get a wicked sunburn out here too. Thundered, I think there's a ton of these. That's gotta be an osprey. Osprey only eat fish. So they bail in the winter time when the lakes freeze over, but I assume that's what he's doing, it's just fishing. huge bird all right I'm gonna keep rowing heading back in keep getting these clouds you never know what they're gonna do it's getting windy too kind of of course blowing me away from where I'm going so I can't film I didn't bring any mount with me for this all right guys that's a wrap uh, had fun, good food, hang out with friends, always worth it.